it's time. It is time for fantasy warfare to simply become warfare. For seven long seasons, the debate has raged on who are the greatest champions in UWA Elite history. And in one night, we find out. Will the bro team pack cement their legacy as the greatest tag team champions of all time against Swag Mean, Team Turnup, and the Rogues? Who will be the Iron Man of all Iron Man champions as simply the best Mike Quest, John Rome, and Hedges come to play against the wretched Bows? Who will wear the crown of eye championship immortality as Eric Corbis returns to face Drake Chambers, Joey Adams, and King Tech? And will the new UWA Elite Champion Brandon the Bull withstand the challenge of the three greatest UWA Elite Champions of all time, Kyle the Beast, Sean Damage McNellis, and Arcadia? UWA Elite Army, you don't have to wait too long to find out, because Gold Rush, Fatal Fourth of July, starts right now. UWA Elite Army, it is the moment you have waited for, the golden moment.
longest reigning Iron Man champion of all time. But both these men will have to contend with a very wretched champion. Have none of it. 
cold cover just a one count on Mike West. Just letting Quest know he's here. Crowd slowly getting behind Quest. Neckbreaker, delay neckbreaker from the man from Tucson, Arizona into the oh into the near side ropes. Knocks Bows off again. Domination splash! Bows gained his composure real quick where he's gonna find himself leaving without the championship. Bit of a heavier cover there. Yeah, and a two count. Just receiving word from the back that indeed Jeremiah did. Oh no, another domination, but this oh. time he hits the knees. Hedges comes up dry on the second attempt. John Rome has indeed been laid out in the back, presumably by Jeremiah, receiving medical assistance right now from UWA Elite trainers. As oh, look at that! As he really is, he just scared to get in the ring with these competitors. I don't think John Rome's scared of anybody. He, he should be right now. Look at this! Oh! Now Hedges followed in by Quest. Big kick! Wow! Like two freight trains collide. Yeah. High impact. West with the quickness into the cover one, two, no, and I'm surprised Bose didn't even try to break that. Pin up. I think Bose knew that Hedges still had a little bit left in him. Now Bose back on the offense and whips off West. Oh, big Bose backbreaker, two, no. Got all three competitors in the ring right now. Now, this ought to be very interesting. Hedges and Bows, two of the most loathed men in UWA Elite right now, but here they go to battle. Hedges off the ropes, picks him, oh my god! Did you see that? Picking up right where they left off. UWA fans are loving this right now. Wow! The, imp the impact! impact. Just a two count. Well, it took a lot out of Bose to lift Hedges up off the canvas and deliver that sh spine shattering. Jeez, sideways slam. Shook. It's like fireworks going on. Paul, oh, and this is just the first of four championship matches tonight. Yeah, if you're a UWA fan, you have got. Oh, no! Uh oh. Hedges looking for that Diamondback driver. Bose off the back. Wait a minute. No! Tight kick out by the Wretched. And Mike West has been incapacitated for quite some time yeah. on the outside. Yeah, showing the ring loss for the amount of time that he's been out of the ring. You know, he came in here with a house of fury, but now he's looking for a drink of water. Or is he just biding his time? Here comes Hedges! Oh, big! Big! And then a bulldog patented Hedges offense, and the forgotten man in this contest may be the new Iron Man champion in a matter of moments. Look, I don't think there's any way you can forget about Hedges, but Hedges is definitely giving Bose a little bit too much time to get back on his feet. I know he's got the whole windup thing he's got going, but he should speed up the process. Oh, and another big shot to the midsection and that knee lift. Going for another hammer. No! Eats a boot to the face. Now crawling into the cover. One, two, no! Double stomp! Oh, oh my God in heaven, what a double stomp. And that is going to take out a lot, not only from Bullock, but also from Hedges. He was underneath that massive drop. Oh! of the men most notorious for being the hardest hitters in UWA Elite history. Uh, we're standing up to it right now. Oh boy, there was no feeling out period here. This was just, forgive the pun, Hedges, home run shot after home run shot. All three men obviously feeling the pain right now. You gotta remember, Bo's just one month off. Less than 
than a month of a last man standing match with Brandon Kirk. And, and that was one month from, from prior when that chairs match that they had. An interesting Bose on the offensive first, but goes for Hedges rather than Quest. Now Bose and Quest working together. Outside, standing up but only with the assistance of the ring steps, and now back to where we started. Bows and bad. West, West and Bows. West might be the first one to his feet, but Bows looks mad. And wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hedges is Hedges is taking his towel. What? Wait a minute! Is Hedges? Is Hedges walking out? Wow. wow. You never want to turn is down gone. The John Rome is hurt. And look at this. Quest and Bose. Look at these shots. Well, now they can focus on. Oh, big Euro. Pummeling each other. And a big Southpaw Euro. Quest back with one of his own. What is he going? Oh my god. No. The six foot six, three hundred pound wretched elbow drop. Oh my god in heaven. One, hit. two, three. That's it. The most interactive pro wrestling show of the summer comes to you live as UWA Elite presents I Wrestle. The fate of your favorite UWA Elite All Stars is in your hands. You vote on guest referees, match participants, stipulations, and more. UWA Elite Army controls the action at I wrestle. Discount tickets and family four packs are available right now by visiting uwaelite.com.
nice matches as have did you see the triple power bomb that Dominic Truex delivered to three men yeah, that was last massive. month that was unbelievable perfect. brute strength by the man known as the Duke and now Jacob Tarasso a California transplant from what I know of him very interesting to see how he and Dominic Truax will get along here in this matchup, if they will at all. Well, Dominic didn't even know his name, so it makes sense for him to start the match off, so he can at least see what this is. Well, his good friend, Jigga, I don't know his last name, will start this matchup. Jacob Tarasso says so on his tights. And Jordan Oliver, the sensational one, will start this off. Collar and elbow tie up. Jacob Tarasso goes behind the back with a waist lock. Jordan Oliver with the reversal. Hey, wrestling! Picks the leg, Jordan Oliver in the ropes. You know, Jordan Oliver reminds me a bit of myself when I was uh, first started wrestling. He's, he's skinny, he's brawny, people underestimate him. But uh, in that ring, he impresses. So I won't give him that. Yeah, he likes to call his finishing maneuver the finesse. Half finesse, but he will finish. Uh, now top wrist lock applied by Tarasso. Jordan with the roll through. Head spring into an arm drag. Very nice by Oliver. Leg sweep into the cover and a kick out. Now Tarasso with the leg sweep in the cover. And these two men now ducks the line. Jordan Oliver going for a backslide. Gets him to Tarasso blocks the arm drag attempt. Now his own backslide. One, two, no. Jordan Oliver picks That's the leg, curious. stacks him up. Now a pinfall attempt by Tarasso. Guys, obviously we're drinking some Red Bull before this match. Yeah, right? I'm I'm blown up. Yeah. I just watched that. Watch blown up. First roundhouse blocked, and the first, and the second one, not even a cover and a two count. Dominic Truex is beside himself yeah. right now with all the sportsmanship. Oh, big back elbow, and a big, big forearm, and here comes the Sugar Rush Kid. Hit Christian now with the tank. Oh, into the post. Oh, pump kick. Kid this Christian taken to the sky. Big frog splash! In a cover! One, two, no! Jeez. For a moment there, I thought Shurax wasn't even going to be able to get into the ring. He still might not. A great strategy. Jacob Tarasso filling in for Lucky Leo Zuko on that blackjack heater at the last minute. Oh. Where did he That got? big shot from Christian did nothing to the two. Just to make him more angry. Oh, into the cover! Two and a kick out. And I gotta tell you, the longer this goes on, the more. Oh! That sounded like a gunshot! Jacob needs to, stop, needs to tag out here. Oh, now a roll up of his own. Wait. Ah, bicycle style kick! And Tarasso. Uh oh. And the 350 pounder. One, two. I can't. Christian had the strength to kick out from that pinfall predicament, which is a, a, a task in and of itself. Just having a man lay on you makes you lose your breath. Now, Truax said, here's how it's done. Goodness. And these are the flashes of brute strength. Yeah. Craig Christian showed a lot of fortitude by kicking out of that. I, I don't know. A completely different competitor in the ring right now. Craig oh, Christian jacks the jaw of Dominic Truax. Who is Dominic Truax? He's got me the tag. Hey, if you didn't see it, it never happened. That's very true. I'm sorry, that was funny. Sorry. True 
wax showing the lighter side. Do you think that there's anything that Dominic Truax likes more than beating up the smallest guy on our roster? Kid Cr- Oh my god. Ew! Uh, he saw his head whip back. He did. He whips his head back and forth because he had a seizure. Yeah. All right. I- I've seen Dominic play on the, on the Texas Hold'em tables. I'm better he likes than to take out the scrawny guys at the table. So. Oh, he picks his mark yeah. and he sticks to it. When it comes to in the ring, he does the same thing. My goodness gracious. Big snap suplex from Jacob Tarasso. It looks like he's going up to the high rent district. See how well No, he stays on the outside. Oh! Comes up empty on the senton from the outside in. Hey, Christian can have another opportunity to make that tag. Now Christian slides through. Up and... Oh, well... I'll tell you what. That head scissors might have actually done more harm than good yeah. there. Dominic Truax, legal man. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh god in heaven. What is this?
chant. Jews chant I've ever heard. In my life. Yeah, at least at least in a church. Clay Sawyer needs to get these antics under control and get them under control for Clay. Matthias class is making a mockery of him right now. Play Sawyer shoving him off. And Clay Sawyer almost got a free count from the old drop the penny trick. shape. He can wrestle. He can go. He's moving around the ring pretty well. Sure is, and Penny's notwithstanding. I'd like to think that we, our payday is enough here at UWA Elite that he needs. He doesn't need to go diving for change, but hey. Uh -oh. Wait, now what? No! No! Don't drop it! What about a bagel? Oh my god! It's an Israeli leg sweep! I have never seen an Israeli leg sweep in my entire life. Is the bagel? Is the bagel a foreign object? Uh, uh, I guess. In if theory. he hit him, if he hit him with the bagel, is it a DQ? Well, he hit the referee with that big hat, so that wasn't a disqualification. I don't think it was. Wait, I have a question. Where, where did the? Uh, Where did the bagel go? It's still in the ring, it's in the corner. Oh my, that looks delicious. Hey, Sawyer's gonna be munching on that bagel for a victory celebration. It's been on the, on the canvas. It's still, I can smell it. I don't think that was That is a it. New York deli bagel. That is delicious. I'm about to, oh, fire it up now, Matthias Glass. I'm about to ask James Swan, he's sitting right next to me, if I can go. Dave, can I go get the bagel? Can I eat the bagel? No, I've been told no, I cannot. Clay Sawyer is showing that he was prepared for this match. He had the penny, he had the bagel. Now all he needs to do is pick up the one, two, three, and go home and celebrate. And light the menorah. I gotta tell you, there's, there's just... What is going on here? Clay Sawyer, I think, is just so distraught on this losing streak of his that big sidewalk slam hooks both legs. Now, I think he's just lashing out at any and everyone in his path. Well, why wouldn't you? When you lose a match even one time, you got to get refocused. And I think Clay Sawyer's focused tonight. Like I said, he had, he had those, those props prepared. Here comes Clay! Oh, big, big fist drop. One, two. Oh, close one. It only takes one win to get back on a winning streak. So. Yes, I'm on a winning streak of one. That, that's still better than zero. Yes. And now Matthias Glass fighting back. Whips Clay Sawyer off the ropes. Goes for the hip toss. Ducks the line. Gets an elbow to the back. Oh. Big gut wrench takeover, yeah. and you know what? Impressive. All the fun and games are over, and the roughneck is looking good here. Into the cover, one, two, and a kick out. 
and with every two count, you just see Clay Sawyer hasn't heard that hand slap three in so long. It's just starting to mess with his head a little bit. Yeah. Like I said, you just stay focused. Not give, not give in so much to the referee's answer because he's obviously being a little biased to Matthias Classy. Bias to Matthias? Bias to Matthias. He has a Matthias bias? Yeah, definitely. Oh, come on. That's gonna be, that was a blatant blow. That was low. incidental. Don't eat it. No! Exactly what that's I was talking about. Oh, he's fired up. Wait, that's a... Well, I guess that answers the question. That's not a... I guess it's not a foreign object because the referee obviously would have disqualified him then, right? Oh! Oh! He ate the bagel and then he ate the bagel. He ate the turnbuckle. Oh! Gross! Double knees to the back! Oh no. Are we going to see that Kentucky coast to coast even though Kentucky has no coasts? Well, it depends. Funny story. Roughneck! Oh! prestigious crossroads tournament in uwa elite history as for the first time ever uwa elite and its roster proudly present the mike davis memorial crossroads tournament all week long at the 2017 middlesex county fair join us for the first round semi-finals and fatal four-way elimination finals from august 7th to the 12th only at the Middlesex County Fair and free with your paid fair admission. Which UWA Elite All-Star will go down in history as the first ever Mike Davis Memorial Crossroads Tournament winner? You find out along with us live at the Middlesex County Fair this August.
think they missed him in the ring a little bit. A little bit. The only four-time high champion in this company's history and a UWA Elite champion, but I'll tell you what. Yo! 
taking Joey Adams. No, Joey Adams' head is in Pennsylvania right yes. now. My God. Here we go. In the ring right now, every man in the ring has won Wrestler of the Year or Match of the Year at least once. to sit here and watch and scout these men night after night. Let me just take this in right now. The, the man who beat Joey Adams for the... Oh, no, wait a minute. The Dragon Slayers! Man, the Dragon Lord took place. I expected this one to steal the show the time it was announced. And uh, look, 45 seconds in, I look like a genius. And now, perhaps these two men's greatest rivals, Chambers and Adams, are one another. They know each other so well. No, oh, big forearm now from Chambers. Now, hey, once the ropes, Adams back with a forearm of his own. Crisscross. Double clothesline. Yeah, both oh, men thinking the Tech same thing. King oh. Tech! much history in this matchup. Tech beat Adams for the I Championship. Adams beat Chambers for the I Championship. And at one point, Corvus beat Chambers for the I Championship. Chambers beat Corvus in his first UWA Elite match. I mean, all of this. All these men have a score to set Wow. All these men. Gross. Press. Well, while I was saying all of that, uh, Drake Chambers just got a vasectomy by a, a Manhattan anatomic drop, unfortunately. Now, King Tech back in, trying to avoid the German suplex. Oh, a big shot. Corvus looks like he hasn't lost his set. No, he doesn't. King Tech, just a potato to the head of Corvus. Welcome back. And now Corvus, oh, into the post with Tech. Now Adams like a rabid dog on Corvus. Corvus with the reversal. Adams off the ropes. Ducks the line. Oh, oh wait! Chambers caught him! That was great. I mean, I don't want to say what just happened there. So many people in this match not having babies after this match. That's all I'll say. Definitely will not be any babies in uh, whatever month that will be. Or the next one. Is probably like that. Hey. But here we are now. Corpus is going to cover Chambers into the... Do something, ref. Well, there's got to be one winner here. This is not elimination. These two men are going to have to uh, back it up. Well, I can't wait. Whoa! Corvus with the first strike. Jesus looks almost surprised. Wow. wow. Drake and Eric might end up as bad as Drake and Josh. Hyena. This might be really bad. Oh, no! Strike exchange. Look at the points of the elbow. Neck. Corvus has some built-up uh, energy here that uh, he Maybe might have a little bit. Tiny bit. Now, wrenches the arm, sends Chambers off. Chambers up and over. Off the ropes, ducks the line, springboard. Elbow, patented, Drake offense. Now Drake lines up the king and eats two boots to the face. I was wondering if Tech was still in this match. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Chambers blocks the technicality. Now sets him up. Now what does Chambers have in mind here? Oh no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh no! What's the place we've been to the Tornado DDT? And now Adams and Tech. Tech! A technical knockout! Tech now going for that bulldog. And he connects! 
King going Tech now. The current high champ. Now, King Tech seems to be picking his spot, but. Now, oh! Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. It's no disqualification. no disqualification. No disqualification. Perfectly legal. Well, he's right. Man, is everybody going to get hit in the junk in this match? Uh, apparently. Joey Adams! Joey Adams, for all the talk of Corvus and Tech and Chambers, could steal it here. Wait a minute. Chambers! Oh, God, that tidal wave kick! Now Corvus in. Chambers! Now Chambers with a big back elbow. Two, three. Runs the rope, springboard. Oh, went for another tidal wave kick. Now Corvus. No, wait, Chambers reverses. What is this? Sit out power bomb! Nailed it. Wow! Into the maybe into the cover? Uh, yes! Uh, One, two, oh god, just, just a enough. drop kick to the dome by Tech! By not going for that cover music from the power bomb game, Tech is second in the game. The fans are really torn here. A lot of oh no. I don't know who to cheer for. Chambers! Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh! Oh no, wait a minute, now what's Joey doing? Big splash! Now Chambers, Chambers covers Adams. Why would he cover Adams? I mean, he had to cover somebody. Now Chambers covers Corvus. No. And screw it, Chambers covers, no he doesn't. Uh -oh. Short head scissor takeover by the Fighting King. All four men down. This has been everything we expected and more. Chambers, I think, really had a good shot there, but for whatever reason, decided to cover Adams. First. Debacle. I mean, hey, you should have thrown him to the outside or something. Be a little bit smarter. You gotta thing. keep your head on a swivel when you, well, you know, that whole thing. I'm gonna owe royalties if I finish the quote. I don't really want to do that. Who is going to be the first man to his feet? Right now it looks like, hey, surprise, surprise, the Fighting King, but no, Joey Adams first to his feet. And away we go. Oh, wait. Oh, big uh -oh. knee strike. Oh, come on. That's a Corvus combo. And now he hits Adam. Adams hits Tech out. with his own technical knockout. And now Joey Adams is going to hit Chambers with oh. his own. Oh, oh my God. Adams just hit all three men with their own moves. That was a car wreck in the corner. Joey Adams just hit all three of his opponents with their own calling cards. That's a, that's a slap in the face to each one of these men. And now, the anti-hero playing a little eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Now, oh, he's going for that no-leaf clover on Chambers. The golden ticket holder fighting, scrapping, and clawing, but he's in it. Tech. Tech? Better do something I don't here. think Tech can see where... Chambers might tap here. Tech clearly needs to break this up. Just mauls him off. Oh, palm strike! Step up, it's Gary. Drive-by kick by Chambers, and now uh, walks into it. Headbutt, back elbow. Oh my God! What a forearm. Joey Adams now. Head stop. King Tech looking for the technicality. Got it. Oh no. Oh, but. Oh, Wait. Joey Adams swimming in ropes. Way too much. Now goes for the cover. Two. No. Pendulum German suplex. This match has been so impressive. He's Wed been... Stefani would describe it as uh, B A N A N A S. Yes. I can't say the other word. Good job on spelling from Adam. Thank you. I would have spelled the four letter one, but I wouldn't be allowed on commentary anymore. Man. Four men. What is it about just these combinations of these four guys that always gets match of the year potential? Now spin out. Oh, good 
goodness gracious! What a cutter! Clark Clark like, no! Uh, thought he did the impossible. Chambers is back up now. Chambers sets him up for the fatality! No, reverse. Corbis down for That's it! New eye champion! New arm. eye champion! One, two, no! Joey Adams breaks it up. We're not gonna see a rest hold in this match. No! There has been no rest for the weary or the wicked in this matchup. Knee lift by Corvus. Now looks for another downfall. Adams reverses. Fireman's carry picks him up. Oh man, modified flatliner. Wait a minute. Standing two. No. The SSP standing shooting star. Oh. And here go Adams and Chambers again. Just like old times, over the back, fatality! Uh oh, do you feel what I feel? Dragon Slayer coming! Drake Chambers could become a four-time I champion! Dragon Slayer connects! Wait! Frog Splash! One, two,
took off his knee brace and just Jack Jake Parnell in the jaw it's with him. Oh, and now that knee brace on the other leg to not like, oh my God. Oh, 
this ring right now. Four former sets of tag team champions. Two former UWA elite champions. One, two, three former I champions. One former Iron Man champion. I mean, just the assemblage of talent. It's impressive. Is unbelievable. Just, and four tag teams from four really different eras that dominated different seasons of this company. Magic's been on, been on a singles competition the past couple months. 20, real successful. 2012-13 belonged to Swag Me. 2014... 2013-14, Team Turnup. 2014, into all of 2015, was the Rogues time. And right now is the era of protein, as Seaway and Roller start this one out. First time, Swag Mean and the Protein Pack have crossed paths, and Rob and Roller start things out with a top wrist lock. Nothing to lose. Exactly. And, and only everything to win. It doesn't matter how long it, it's been since they've tagged. They've been doing it in singles action. And Eric Cordes and I talked a lot about this on All Access Live. The protein pack has the longest odds to retain here just because so many things can happen. Yeah. Eight guys in this matchup. Eight all stars. You gotta have eyes in the front and back, and, and then there's still four guys that, that you can't look at. It, right? Absolutely. There's a slight advantage to the Bro Team Pack in that they are one of only two teams in this matchup that are actively tagging right now. The other being Swag Me. Right. Now Seaway off the ropes. Dosi Do Roller now over the top. Ducks the back elbow. Now another. bit of trash to, oh boy, hip slip from Robbie. Well, at least it was a hip slip, and not something else. DJ RJ with the tag. And this is one of the impressive things, with, with so many tag teams in this match, anyone can tag in at any time. And here, well, this ought to be really fun. DJ RJ, one night only, the reunion tour, and now TJ Blade in. DJ, RJ, TJ, I'm confused. <laughs> no. A little playful action. Nope. What is he doing? DJ, RJ. DJ, RJ is the worst mime I have ever seen in my yeah. life. before this is all done. Oh, now go behind and roll Way up in the ropes. <laughs> what is coming? I, I, I don't even know. Oh! Entertain and I think that the party is over. said earlier, Cannonball scares me. He, I, I've seen him with those vicious headbutts, unfazed. You can hear the thump from a mile away. Look at this hoss fight here between Magic and Cannonball. The Rogues are my favorite to win this match. Just because of the talent levels on both men's part. The ropes, a cannonball off Magic Spins Magic for Luke. Off the speed. Bobby Roller made the tag. Blind tag from 
roller. Oh, good night. There's a little leverage for magic on this one. The educated feet of the amazing one. Robbie Roller knows he's going to have to be a little extra hard and a little extra stiff with his moves here. Well, the first tag team double team I think that we've seen here. It's the first before. time that I didn't take advantage of an innuendo opportunity on commentary. I am uh, sorry. Now, Ben Grayson in on Jeff Cannonball. Jeff I love Finn Grayson. I love the former champion. Ah! He's enjoying it, I think. Oh my god in heaven. Just uh, to be fair, I, I to know. be fair, Vin Grayson is 23 years old. Alright. And he was not born on a leap year. So I think we're safe. All the legalities. Vin, you okay? I think he kind of enjoyed it. Well, I'll tell you what. Vin Grayson, if you're listening back to commentary, see, it's not so bad. Is Vin Grayson, Vin Grayson just took gum from the cameraman. And that's what I'm talking about. Could be out, cold, a concussion. Oh, and I don't even know how he just came back from that. He might have just woken up a very angry Robbie Roller. Fucking and he, Roller! He goes rolling. Ah! I think Robbie Roller's dead.
dive over the but top. He went over the top, but more importantly, he went over the top of Mike Seaway. What's Blade doing now? And right now it's TJ Blade's turn. Here comes TJ. And the bro team pack for the moment. Looks like they under control now. The only the only two men that appear to have any kind of a, no. What is he doing? Now what? Oh. Well. Hey, look! Brandon Cook didn't catch a dive, everybody. Oh, no, he didn't. But smart enough to step out of the way. Yeah. Is wait a minute. What is? Hit an elbow short on the. What are you doing? What are you oh, doing, RJ? A little too high for him. Oh, he's doing it. Uh, off the first rope. Stage dive by DJ RJ. No! 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 There's no way. He's thinking about it. No! Oh my God! And the roads are on their feet. And this crowd, for whatever reason, loves where is Brandon Kirk going? Like, side himself. 
slipped through his hands on that one. Well, the protein pack do organized chaos better than anybody, and they let all of their opponents start feeling like, oh, we're just out here having a good time, and it was not a good time. This was about championship gold, and the protein pack managed to get three other world-class tag teams to take their eye off the ball. Yeah, the only thing that saved them there was that since they had been tagging so tight together, they knew where each other were. They were able to get in there, finish off Cannonball, and pick up the three.
like a well-oiled machine. But on the other side of this equation is a man on an island without his paramount brethren, but a very dangerous, pissed off, south side pit bull. Here comes Cypress. Trumper in the ring right now on the apron is the most liberal guy you could ever meet in your life in Eddie Thomas. And the two of them have proven that politics aside, they are a very dangerous and cohesive unit. They are Republicans and Democrats. Oh, look at that standing blockbuster. They not like each other, they still have to get along. Very true. Oh, big leg drop. But you see here, two kick out by Cyprus. They seem to even be arguing over who's going on offense. <laughs> it, it provides for a better offense. The house argues all the time. No. We should put Team Thomas in, in charge of our health care bill. What, so we can get... UWA Elite doesn't need 17% approval rating. I think they're working great together. In the eyes of many, by the way, Eddie Thomas, the explosive one, formerly known as Chris Redfield, by whatever name you know him, in the eyes of many, the most accomplished UWA elite wrestler, never to be UWA elite champion. Well, there's a lot of great men in this industry that have never held a world champion. But you'll still always remember their name. Oh, for sure. Oh, good night. Double face blaster. Brother, Cypress has got to be rethinking this decision of his. I don't think he's. Uh, I don't think he's thinking much right now. I think he's sleeping. Wait a minute! Wait! What is this? Why is Mike Quest down here? Why is Quest Quest another former Paramount member? Well, this is now a part of the Cypress Lucha Town 
Team Thomas is now at a disadvantage in my opinion. Look at this! Will an oh, assisted leg drop! Team Thomas scouted a handicap. Yeah! Your, your entire repertoire is Hold based on, on Hold a on handicap a match. Are you saying that this not being a handicap match is unfair to Team Thomas? When, when they, when you're expecting to have a certain type of match, and then in the middle of it, it gets changed, it's, it's just, it makes a mockery of, of the entire wrestling industry. It just, just makes no sense to me. You have to change your whole thought process. Mike Quest, someone who they haven't even scouted. Well, Mike Quest hasn't even become a part of this matchup yet. And if Team Thomas were smart, they would not ever let that part happen. In my opinion, Quest is just a distraction. Wait a minute. Were there people just chanting Obama at Chiller Thomas? This crowd may think that Obama is still the, still the president. Oh, oh, come on now. With the Cypress Hill Sky High Power Bomb. Yeah, he's crawling into the wrong corner. Because he well, he's taking so much abuse. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Mike Quest, light him up. Light him up, Mike. Cypress should have been ready to, to work this in the that match anyway. Why is uh, maybe Eddie out? Thomas will finally get his. Thank you. 
that this man is the definition of respect. Uh, the American horror himself. Here comes a dangerous man.
like it needed a flourish. Now, Massacre dumps out Vertigo and the Hollywood stuntman Christopher Powers and Massacre now turn their attention to the god of drivers, just a, Everett Cross. It just had a little mutual nod. It's almost as if they just expected to work together. Sure. Well, until necessary, good to form an alliance in this kind of matchup. Again, the winner of the first fall will become the new number one contender to the Iron Man Championship held by Bose. And the winner of the second fall will become the new number one contender to the I Championship held for nearly a year now by the fighting king, King Tech. Yeah, definitely going to be an earned Whoever wins the first and second fall is definitely going to be definitely going to Oh, wait! And now, Massacre takes out Powers, floats into the first cover, and just a one count. Right. Alliances severed. <laughs> that quickly. That quickly. Oh, and Massacre out now. Just think about some of the matches that we could get out of this. Massacre and Bose could renew a rivalry, a friendship turned uh, frenemy ship, I yeah. suppose. We can get Christopher Powers versus King Tech. That would be a lot of fun. We get Bose versus Nicholas K again. Matt Vertigo versus King Tech in one of the match of the year candidates from last year. Right now, everybody's got And he comes out on his feet. Vertigo wow. going vertical. Man, everyone. Rolling K into the ring now. Full head of steam. Nicholas K retreats into the corner. Here comes Vertigo. Big splash. Trying to keep off that off that offense going. A whip in and a big back elbow and a kick to the side of the head. Oh, Nicholas K still on his feet. Something tells me not for long. Right. Vertigo rises up. Big lariat into the Action cover. And over. Two and no. I thought Matt Vertigo might win. The number one contendership to the Iron Man Championship, Paul. That is a mouthful. Now, Nicholas K off the ropes, puts the brakes on. Big Euro to Matt Vertigo. Now, Nicholas K, oh, just a, like a body mash of a like, like body attack. You know, some of these guys might, might not even look to break up that first one. Well, it's all about strategy, but in my mind, in my mind, you see Everett Cross coming in again, but cut off in the pass by Christopher Powers. It all depends. Maybe you'd rather face King Tech than Bose, or Bose than King Tech. Maybe you have a score to settle. Maybe there's something you feel you can do. Oh, and now Chris Powers stacking him up in the corner. Oh, drop kick. Yeah, this type of match definitely takes a, a, a different method of thinking. Oh! Close! Oh, Big drop kick from Chris Powers. Woo! Chris Powers almost demanding respect from the fans. Into the cover on the cross. Two and a kick out. Never cross has shown me that he's not a uh, the weakest link in the match. Goodbye. Well, oh, another stiff forearm. And this Chris Powers out for respect. Stepping out from behind the shadow of Thomas Coburn in a way that most fans did not like. Now, off the ropes goes Everett Cross, ducks the line. Oh, a big lariat of his own. Another lariat from Everett Cross and the God of Drivers. Looking strong here. Uh, cut off at the pass by Powers. Looks up maybe for a snap, vertical flex. Oh, no, face buster. Very interesting. Into the cover. One, two, oh, just a two count for referee Milo Sosa. And oh, wait. Now for Massacre. Massacre now. Oh, almost the eye of the hurricane there. Wow. Vertigo just been laying on the mat five minutes here. Into the cover. One, two, no. He's either catching a nap or he's looking for an option. Oh, Massacre got blindsided. Hard on the outside by, but Vertigo rather, got blindsided by Massacre. On the outside just a couple minutes ago, I think still staggered. 
Now, Massacre, look at him. He's so dangerous. You look at him and he doesn't look like he's physically all that imposing until you really look at him. He's a sheet of muscle. Yeah, he's he is a sheet of muscle. Sure does. Scary strong. Oh, oh, big knee lift. In the corner. Now, Bootstrap City. Oh. That was snug. <laughs> Very snug. And now Bernie go back in looking for some redemption. Kick to the jaw. One, two, cross out. And strange as it may be, I have not seen Nicholas K. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, reverses the driver. Now forearm from Vertigo. Another forearm from Vertigo. Oh, big kick to the mush by Vertigo. Forearm, staggers, cross, cross, oh. playing a little possum, big forearm of his own, rolls out, now charges back in, headbutt, both men a little loopy here. Now what's Vertigo setting up in the corner? Kick to the mush. Vertigo's up. Oh, oh my God. God, just a headbutt. He just headbutted his head jaw. <laughs> he might have knocked out a couple teeth on that one. Yeah, might have. At least you can sell those on the black market now, from what I understand. Human teeth. It's what's for women. This just got weird. I don't know how I feel about it. Nicholas K. Just kind of biding his time. Uh -oh. Oh, God! oh! Suplex to the outside! All, all men five down. men down. All men down. All men down. All men down. Fans, this is Gold Rush, Fatal 4th of July, V Gold Rush match. Two number one contendership, two different championships on the line here and now. Fall number one for the Iron Man Championship, number one contendership currently being contested. Fall number two for the number one contendership to the I Championship. And the professional. Oh, another headbutt. Professional is closing in on that first ball on that vertical. I would say so. He, he, lay, he lay in rate for quite some time. Oh, these guys just beat the daylight out of him. Oh my god. Like I said, when you're professional. Professional, professional. And this is the thing about Nicholas K. He's so quick. He's so dangerous. Back sent on. Gross. Nick K doesn't care if you're cheering or booing or doing nothing. He is a clinician, he is a surgeon, and he does not give a damn what you think and, about it. And you shouldn't. You shouldn't. This professional wrestling. This is, this is a fan. Coming sport. off the top, Shark Vino got caught! Big throw by Vertigo! The Verta throw, maybe. I don't like that. That sounded better in my head. I apologize immediately. Now, the we'll Wait Massacre! Trying to hook him up for looks like a package. Pile driver, a big kick to the head by Vertigo. Now he hooks him up. Package. Oh, 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 oh look at the strength of Massacre. Hooks both. Double chicken wing. Tucks him in now. He gets the double underhook. Backbreaker. Oh, deadlift fireman's carry. Powered him up. Oh, that knee to the face. That could be it. Into the cover. One, two. Chris Powers with the breakup. I was unsure if he was actually going to break it up or not. Oh! oh. oh. What in the... What? The Hollywood... Set, that, uh, uh, it's the exploding heart five point whatever. I saw Kill Bill once. What is that? Stuntman drop. The stuntman drop. Breaks it up. Some of these high impact moves. You can, you can Wait a minute. Oh. Cradle driver! Cradle driver! The in. first fall goes to every cross! Cross is a lock. 
Yeah, and if, and if, if ever Cross and Smart, he would have went for a second pin on Powers and locked up that the second Wait, and then Nicholas K, two! Oh! Looked like he was about to win the second fall that quickly. And you know nobody wants to face King Tech more than Nicholas K. Went for the burning hammer. Chris Powers slid off the back. Maybe hooking him up for the Damn. burning hammer again. Gets him up. Oh. That Falcon Punch. Now, Massacre! That big face buster on the knee! Meanwhile, Chris Powers up on the second. Wait, Massacre catches him in the fireman's carry. Oh no, my god. Absolutely devastating. Into the cover. One, two. Wait, Vertigo out of nowhere. Vertigo. Saving his only opportunity now at a championship title match. Yeah, fans, we know that it's Bose versus Everett Cross now, and I wrestle for the Iron Man Championship. You will vote on that match in some capacity. But now, Vertigo, Massacre, Cross, Powers, or Nicholas K could face King Tech at I wrestle right. for the I Championship. And now Vertigo looking for the finishing touches. Each one of these. Oh, now. another. Oh, he was ready for the reversal. Ready for the reversal. Zip time. Cutter. Oh, but Massacre's out of the ring. Massacre rolls out. Each one of these men only have one shot now. Because opportunity like comes once in a lifetime, yo. Ever cross, we're going to pick up this. Whoa. He's looking for another... Oh, my God, that driver is disgusting. Oh, thank God for Vertigo got out of the way. Oh, spin kick ducked. Cross from the shoulder. Sit out, driver. One, two, no. Ever Cross shoved off. Oh, look at this submission. Hard way. Submission into the hard way from Nicholas K. Like you said, Nicholas K really wants that shot. Nicholas K! Oh, oh, oh. knee to the... Oh, my goodness. And we've seen this before. It's the Grotweiler. The Grotweiler submission. Might be it. Will Nicholas K get Matt Vertigo to tap? Nobody's moving to break this up. Nobody's there. Vertigo might be out. He's taking a pummeling in this match. Check on him, ref. Check on him. And that's it. That's it. And Nicholas K. Like you said, Nicholas K wanted that opportunity. And now he's going to get it. Wow. In the last 12 to 15 minutes, Paul, we have learned so much. Versus the God of Drivers at I Wrestle for the Iron Man Championship. And Nicholas K gets one more crack at the Fighting King and the I Championship. August 5th. Wow. And you know somewhere, King Tech is watching and waiting. King Tech better hope that the professional professional doesn't take this championship from him next month. And next month, like you said, the most interactive show of all summer long. We only owe two matches. Bones versus Everett Cross. King Tech versus Nicholas K. We're about to find out who the UWA Elite Champion will be. I think I already know that. August 5th. Do not miss Iris. Saturday, August the 5th, 2017, the most interactive pro wrestling show of the summer comes to you live as UWA Elite presents I Wrestle. The fate of your favorite UWA Elite All-Stars is in your hands. You vote on guest referees, match participants, stipulations, and more. 
UWA Elite Army controls the action at iWrestle. Discount tickets and family four-packs are available right now by visiting UWAElite.com. It is now time for our main event.
brazenly, Hyena takes off his UWA Elite polo and puts on his Arcadia t-shirt. Now, Paul, I work with Arcadia and other promotions. I managed him five hours ago. But this is a commentary job. Look, let's face it. This is the reason I'm here. Okay. Arcadia got me this job okay. because I need to be the voice of reason. And with Eric Corbis not here, I've been given that opportunity. Okay. And look at... Wait, what is Arcadia? Arcadia, the ultimate condiment abuser. If you want to talk about abusers, let's talk about Brandon the Bull. One month out and he's already defaced the UWA Elite Championship. Kyle... Put all the condiments back. Even the beast knows that you recycle plastics. Wow. Look at the assemblage of talent. Did I stop saying that tonight? No, because it's true. Yes, exactly. I'll tell you what, that didn't seem smart, but now Arcadia gets to rest. Exactly. And oh, I'm going to mention, Arcadia has beaten all of these men in the past. You know who hasn't beaten all three of these? The only guy in this ring, strangely enough, look, he just ran through that close line. But the only guy in this ring that cannot say he's beaten all three of these men in singles competition is the champion. Yes. And the only reason that he is champion is because he's 400 feet tall and only had to climb one rung of the ladder to grab the championship. Oh, come on. I'm going to gorilla on Stoom. It's on Stoom for a second. Will you stop it? it makes I no can't sense. say that. It's like putting Arcadia in a sweeping match against Aquaman. Arcadia might still win that. Aquaman's kind of feeble. And here comes one of the great rivalries of UWA Elite history, Sean Damage McNellis and Kyle the Beast. STM and KTB. Oh! Kyle the Beast just said, hey, check my breath out, bro. It's terrible. Arcadia is just literally just watching the competition. And why not? Taking his moment. And he knows, he knows KTB, Kyle the Beast, and Sean McNellis better than anyone probably in UWA Elite history. He's not even concerned. He's, he's conversing with one of the fans right now. Because he knows how much punishment these two can take. Yep. Arcadia is very, very content to perhaps just pick the bones. Ooh, a little extra stank on that one. McNellis is going crazy in here. A little happy to be back in the ring. I smell a worm elbow here, Paul. Welcome back, Damage. What's he doing? Biden his time. Maybe he's just being as smart as our. Oh boy. He was out, outside the ring defacing the championship with one of the skulls. And Brandon, Brandon the Bull said, hey, look at my cool mask. Yeah. And Damage said, uh, uh, I have more championships than you. <laughs> I'm a translator, basically. I think the bull was smelling him. He didn't recognize the smell. No, well, he has been gone for some time. And nobody was happier for Brandon the Bull when he won that championship than Sean McNellis. I don't think he's happy right now. Yeah, he's happy because he knew that he would have this opportunity for the championship. It's a lot easier to beat the bull than it is to beat the Arcadia. Wow. Uh, and Arcadia picking the leg of Brandon the Bull. 
Just enough to distract them. And interesting to note here, Arcade, oh, Sean with the low bridge now. And boy, oh boy, have we seen this movie before. Old school, boys. Oh, wait. Now, here's something that's very interesting. Arcadia and Damage do not like each other one bit. But they are the two smallest men in this matchup. Yes. By size and by frame, they are going to... Look, did you ever think you'd see this in your life? Honestly, no. Low drop kick from both men. Like and Arcadia said. and Damage, double step up. It makes sense. It had... Look... I know this pains Sean McNellis to do, and I know it pains Arcadia to do it to some degree also, but necessity is the mother of invention. They have to work together. Well, maybe not now. Yeah. They always say, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Arcadia basically saying, we take out the beast and we take out the bull, and then, they and then you and I can go to war. Right. The three men in the ring right now, current champion on the outside, have seven UWA Elite Championship reigns. Oh, we've seen this one before too. A little up and over from Arcadia. Oh, but wait. Look at this. Dog from Damage. If, if you watch Damage in the ring, he, he's literally watching Arcadia at the side of his eye, almost as if he's just anticipating. Well, the last time Damage and Arcadia were on the same team, Arcadia dropped Damage on his head and walked out. There's, there's no reason why Arcadia can't be trusted. He's smart enough to know what he's saying. They're work together. Fans. Work together to take care of the bigger men. Oh, wait a minute. Step through by Kyle. Back elbow. And the beast fighting two men. And the bull nowhere to be found. No. Line dumped by Arcadia, she wrenches the arm. This is a sweet combo. Oh, look at that Enziguri, but he stole it from Arcadia. And making his way up the stairs, gentlemanly, is Brandon the Bull. Yeah, that's where the champion was. Somebody put it in the Right now. Yeah. Drop yeah. kick from McNellis sends Brandon the Bull to the outside. Here's another fact as to why, probability wise, the odds are even worse for Brandon the Bull. Oh my God in heaven. No, he is not going to do this. He's going to certainly try. Double super. No. I refuse to see it. Here. My God. the sky. What does this mean? It means it's going to take a little bit more to take the beast out of the equation. He just superplexed two grown men at the same time. That's why they call him the beast. That is among many reasons why they call him the beast. But if you look, he's firing up with that educated strike combo. Now beast going off the ropes. Forearm to the bull who just can't seem to get no, going in this matchup. It's been more than 10 seconds to the ring this time. Well, party people. Hey, but Arcadia into the cover steals one back from damage. It's not stealing. It's well, that's the apparently the Arcadia did not want to come on party people. Well. That needs a rephrase in post. I apologize. Now. Oh, and there's the bull. Big boot 
into the mush. Oh no! Now the bull and the beast! It's hoss fight time, boys! Pounce it! Bull just pounced the beast to the mat! Wait, Arcadia Springboard! Oh, he got caught! As Jim Ross would say, uh, the goozle. Wait a minute, now Sean... Oh. Now, Sean McNellis to the outside, and here we go. You don't think that Brandon wants to prove himself to Arcadia in a pinfall kind of way? Of course. Sure he does. He has to try to prove himself. Look at Beast! Oh, but Bull ducks it! Brandon Iron! Knockout punch from the champ! Nobody wants Arcadia. Nobody wants Arcadia. But he's going to get him right now, and it's going to be the last thing he wishes had ever happened. You got to wonder. Wait a minute. Oh, went for the bulldozer. Arcadia blocked it with a knee strike. Hey! Oh, uh -oh. he blocked the surfboard drop kick. Oh. Out to the outside. But wait a minute. Damage control. Damage control. Sean could be a four-time champion. A second one. Oh my God, Damage! Damage is a champion! No! Two of them! Two Damage controls in a row! Two of them! You gotta remember, Brandon the Bull spent half the first half of the match outside Wait, the ring. Damage touched the line! No! Damage control blocked by Kyle! Kick to the face! Oh, we're gonna see a beast hammer from the knees! Oh my God in heaven! Wait, Arcadia, back Arcadia in. in, turns Kyle around, Kyle throws him off the ropes, up, oh, what a euro, beast, hammer, one, two, no, wow, wow, Arcadia is showing why he's a former champion, well, all, all these men are former champions, obviously, Along with the current champion, Brandon the Bull. Every man has kicked another man's best shot. Yep, and they're coming back. And I mean, that, wait a minute. There it is. Brandon, looking for the bulldozer. Can he muscle up the beast? No, he cannot. Kyle with the strike combo. Off the ropes. Ducks the line springboard. Caught him. This time he's got him. But it's broken again. Blocks the running of the Bulls, foot up, another foot up. Now the Beast going up top. KTB Air, wait, catches him. Beast down with the bulldozer. One, two, no! What in the world are we witnessing? The best talent that UWA Elite has to offer. But look who's fresh. Once again, Arcadia Springboard. Oh, wait. The, the drop kick went right to the knockout punch yeah. arm. That arm is dead. Without that arm, you can't get the brand iron. Wait, there we go. Let's go grip. surfing. Just a double stomp to the back. Yeah, it's all it took. He's, he's taken so much punishment. Big double stomp to the back. And Arcadia was smart enough to realize that he was he was dead weight. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. Brandon goes to lift him with that arm. He can't get him. No DQ, but still up. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. But what did we do? We just saw Arcadia stoop to a low blow for the first time in I don't remember how long. Good night. The sign and of face. The greatest competitor in UWA Elite history is like a lion stalking the prey. And Brandon, maybe just a one month championship reign. No way. No way. Wait. Nellis. McNellis at the discus clothesline. How is Brandon still standing? Nope, damage control blocked. Bulldozer! Bulldozer. One, two, come on. Yes!
look who has the microphone. Well, look. For Paul Hyena Schofield, I'm Colin West. Far be it for either one of us to interrupt what's about to happen here. We'll see you at iWrestle. But not after we hear from Arcadia. Let's do it. 